everybody welcome to my kitchen my name is Kelsey true and if you're seeing this video it's because something happened and I wasn't able to be there live with you in person so either my Wi-Fi is not working or I have a sick kiddo or I'm sick but I wanted to make this so that I could still show you how fast and easy an Epicure meal can be talk about kind of our products and then also wanted to make sure that you knew that there are many different ways to use Epicure. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm grateful for your time here. I'm gonna make this short and sweet, but I'm gonna show you one of my family favorites, okay? So the first thing you need to know about Epicure is we are a good food company that wants to empower you to cook raw to ready meals in 20 minutes or less from your kitchen. What's amazing about this company is that it is gluten-free, it is preservative free, which is important for me. I was diagnosed with MS in 2014, and I've noticed that eating preservative free is uh, instrumental in just keeping my MS symptoms down. So um, we're also, we have not, we're non-GMO. We um, have no add-ins like dyes or anti-caking agents or chemicals. Everything you want in the food is there with our seasonings and spices and nothing that you don't want. So. We're a company out of Canada. It's a mother-daughter team right now running the company and they've partnered their good food ingredients with their cookware to help you make all those amazing meals raw to ready in 20 minutes or less. So today I'm gonna be making, I keep checking my pan here cause it's hot and I'm watching it to see if, make sure I'm not, don't start smoking on the video here, but I'm gonna be making our homestyle chicken stew. But all of these have recipes on the back, you guys. I'm gonna kind of, go off the beaten path with this recipe and make it my family favorite way, which is to turn this into a pot pie. So first things first, I'm going to, um, I chopped up some chicken here earlier today just into cubes. I'm gonna just get that sauteing in my nonstick wok. I trimmed all of the icky fat and the slimy bits off of it with my amazing um, ceramic knife. This is a super sharp, high quality chef's knife from Epicure. It's my favorite, so I always like to show that off. I use that to uh, trim up the chicken, but what I'm gonna do is just dump this in here and get things kind of started <clears throat> while I talk. So all of our ingredients are also low sugar and low sodium, and so this is my best friend in regards to cooking a dinner. It's herbs, garlic, and sea salt, and it comes in this amazing grinder, and so I put that, a little bit of that on everything. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and simmer for a few minutes here. So let me also talk about our multi-purpose steamer. So I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you about this. And I will say, the first time I got this in my business builder kit, because it comes in the kit when you sign up, um, I originally signed up to get the food ingredients to get clean and healthy eating, um, like seasonings and stuff. But this came in my business builder kit and I looked at it and I kind of set it aside like, ew, that was meant to cook in the microwave and I don't cook in the microwave. And I will tell you that this thing has changed my life. I have some rice in, in it to show you tonight because I'm gonna be meal prepping and doing a few different things. But I tried it for the first time, I made fajitas. You put your peppers, you put your chicken and your seasonings all together with no oil, no water, nothing, just in the steamer. It locks in the moisture from the food and uses that to quickly cook the food. The texture of the chicken was amazing. The peppers turned out great. So I was totally a skeptic and changed my mind once I tried it for the first time. And now you guys, I have two of this size. I have one of the bigger round ones that's good for like a whole rotisserie chicken. I have the smaller rectangular steamer that's great for side dishes or doing like a banana bread loaf in it or doing eggs for my family in the morning. So I've become a steamer believer when I never thought I would use this before in the microwave. So tonight I'm just gonna show you some rice though. It's gonna be simple and easy. I have one cup of rice in there. I'm gonna do about three cups of water. But I'm making this rice to go with a meal that I'm meal prepping for the week for my lunches. I'm gonna be making the crispy, crunchy lettuce wraps. So I'll be doing this on my stove later, but I wanted to get that rice started and I'm gonna be adding in our new ramen broth seasoning. So I just like to add a little bit of flavor with this. <clears throat> I always use our four in one spice spoon, mostly because it actually fits inside the skinny jars to help me measure. But also you guys, I don't lose it in my drawer because how often do you go into your drawer looking for a tablespoon or a teaspoon and you can't find it because your drawer is a hot mess. 
Maybe that's just me and my messy drawers, but I love that this is all in one. It's got tablespoon on one side, teaspoon on the other, and then you flip it around on the back, it's got a half and a quarter teaspoon on the back. So super handy. Okay, this multi-purpose steamer, like I said, I'm just making rice tonight, super simple, but I've done fajitas in it. It comes with this trivet. This is gonna keep the splatter down while I'm making my rice. But also, you guys, you can put bacon on this and put the lid on the steamer and make bacon in the microwave. And I love that because you can keep all the mess and the splatter in one spot. It's also easy to clean, so you could just wipe out the bacon grease with a paper towel when you're done and throw the whole thing in the dishwasher. So I love using this for bacon. <clears throat> Okay, rice has started, and that'll be for this different meal that I'm making, the crispy, crunchy lettuce wraps. I'm gonna do kind of an egg roll in a bowl situation with that. But like I said earlier, you guys, all of our packets of seasoning blends, think of this as like a flavor packet. So you're gonna be adding in your protein and your veggies, and sometimes a starch, like a rice, and you're gonna be mixing it with these flavor packets and other pantry staples like soy sauce, or I think this one asks for um, sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, just change it, swap it out for something you have on hand. Very versatile and you have the control of the ingredients in your food. So that's why I love using these, these seasoning packets, okay? Let me stir this really quick. Okay, so for this chicken pot pie that I'm doing, I am going to cook the chicken in the wok. I'm gonna add my little seasoning packet. I'm gonna rehydrate it in some oil really quick. I'm gonna use my little four cup prep bowl to get this going. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Just a dry powder. I'm gonna add two cups of water and just let that sit and hydrate for a few minutes. Cause once the chicken's done, I'm gonna add it into the wok and um, let it kind of simmer and thicken up here. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Okay. And I'm gonna cheat tonight, you guys. To add my veggies for the pot pie, I just grabbed a bag of these frozen vegetable mix blend. I'm gonna put it all in there together and then put some puff pastry on top you can kind of see there. And then I'm gonna just pop it all in the oven in this wok. And so I love this thing because you can use it on the stove and in the oven. It's ceramic coated instead of a non-stick coating, it's ceramic so you're not gonna get any, any flaking. It's not gonna flake off and get into your food. So it's non-toxic. So I love this thing. Okay, so let me talk about some other ways to think about what Epicure is and how you can use it. And I'm gonna use my fancy cheat sheet here. So Epicure is all these things you're already using, but we can do it healthier and better, whether that's low sodium if you need to watch your salt intake, or low sugar, or no preservatives like me, or gluten-free, or maybe you have a peanut allergy. We are all a gluten and a nut-free facility, and so all of these will be clean for you and easy for you, or if you know anyone with allergies, um, so like almonds, peanuts, walnuts, that type of thing, we are gonna be totally healthy and clean for them. So um, let me just go through examples really quick. Where your dessert mixes, so we have an amazing pudding, we have fudge sauce, we have caramel sauce, we've got baking mixes like cupcakes, banana bread, carrot cake, all sorts of yummy things when it comes to desserts. We also have your dip mixes. So this is like a three onion, and I love this dip mix because I hate chopping onions. It makes my eyes water really bad. I like have to wear swimming goggles to chop an onion, but you could also use three tablespoons of this three onion dip mix to equal one small onion. So I love having this one on hand for that. We have the broths, like the ramen broth, but we also have miso and nourish broth, which is like chicken broth. This is gonna save a ton of space in your pantry because you're not buying the cans, but then it's also gonna be low sodium and no preservatives too, so definitely tons of value in that one. Okay, the fajita seasoning. I love talking about this one because this shocked me when I actually looked at it. Oh, here it is. I picked this up at the store just to kind of check the back and like see and compare the difference. So this is our fajita seasoning and then this is a popular store brand. Um, first of all, the sodium. There are 440 milligrams of sodium in this and there's only five servings in this one container, okay? So for our fajita seasoning, there are 85 servings in this, no sodium. So 
you can add in and have control over how much salt you're putting in there or leave it sodium free and actually be able to eat fajitas with all the yummy Mexican flavors, just not all the salt. Another thing that shocked me about this one, you guys, is that the first ingredient in there is corn syrup um, and then salt and then garlic and spices. And then there's a ton of anti-caking ingredients and fillers for that packet too. You don't need to be eating all of that. You can just get our, our little, what, $7 jar of fajita seasoning and totally change the type of food you're putting in front of your family. Okay, hold on, let me stir this. It's gonna boil over here. Chicken's almost done, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in really quick my sauce mix. I'm gonna stir it together. The chicken's maybe a little bit pink, but since I'm gonna bake this in the oven with the pie crust on top, it's totally okay to undercook the chicken for now because we're gonna bake it. But I wanna add in that sauce packet with the water so that it thickens. And then I'm also gonna add in my veggies right now so I can stir it all together here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna just give this a minute to kind of heat up a little bit before I put the pie crust on top. But that's how it's gonna go in the oven, guys, just like this. I'll put the pie crust right on top and then I'll just right on in there, so, okay. Um, next one is our salad dressings. We have ranch, we have Caesar, we have an amazing balsamic vinaigrette. We've got tons of different salad dressings. Um, sesame ginger, which is my favorite, kind of an Asian salad dressing. What I love about this, you guys, is you can make your own salad dressing. You can control the type of oil that's in it. You're gonna save room in your refrigerator, because if you're like me, you like to try different flavors, but then they sit in your fridge because you used that much of it, right? So. I think at one point I had maybe five or six salad dressings in there. Um, I love that I can make it in small batches and use it up, clean out my little, my jar. It's called a cruet. Um, it's a glass jar that you can get. We have a funnel that you can get to make salad dressings easy too. Um, but then I can just change out the flavors without feeling like it needs to take up space in my refrigerator or I'm not throwing it away. Okay, <clears throat> last one, family favorite. So this is like, your mac and cheese, your Alfredo, your marinara seasoning, tacos, all the things you're already using for regular family dinner night staples. We can just do it healthier and easier and um, without all the gunk and preservatives in it. So, okay, so that's what we are. We're everything you're already using, just a healthier, better staple. So a few things I want you to think about as I kind of wrap up this video. Um, every month we have a host special and it changes every single month. So definitely look at, into that and see what the host special is or comment on this video in the comments and ask. Um, but it changes every month. The only way you get access to buying this host exclusive is by hosting a party. Another amazing thing is if you host a party now, your host who's showing you this video, she gets an extra host benefit as well as you get an extra $20 for linking your party to hers, okay? So definitely look at hosting, especially if your list is getting longer and you wanna try a bunch of different things. The next thing is joining. If you look at your shopping list and you see that you want the multi-purpose steamer or maybe you want our sheet pans and sheet pan liners, and maybe you wanna try all the seasonings and the food, and you're getting to be around $100 worth of product, you should just sign up and buy the kit, and there's a lot of reasons for this. You're gonna get a commission on your sales as well as host rewards for hosting your own parties, but you guys, I joined this business for a discount on clean food and it has exploded and become a lifeline for me. I've been able to pay for Christmas in cash. I've been able to buy a, a golden doodle dog, which don't even look at how expensive they are because they're ridiculous. Just those extra fun things for my family that I would have had to say no to beforehand. So definitely here for the income, definitely here for the clean food. And then I love how I'm able to help other people with meals as well as empower new business builders to start making income at home, um, just like I'm doing. So look at the business builder kit, look at hosting to get free product that way, and then absolutely shop on your hostess's link so that we can help unlock rewards for her so that she can get free and half price items as well. Okay, this is just gonna simmer for a few minutes here before I put my puff pastry on top, but I'm gonna walk you around my kitchen and show you just a few quick things, so.
hold it, hang tight, don't get sick. Um, okay, I'll have to do this kind of like this. So these are our meal solution packets and I showed two of them already. I showed the um, crispy crunchy lettuce wraps that I'm making the rice for and then I showed the, excuse me, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then I showed the um, chicken stew that I'm making into a pot pie. There are so many different flavor options, you guys, you will never get bored. So this is the new sweet chili sauce. It's like a sweet and sour, yummy, spicy, sweet sauce. Tahini Power Bowl makes an amazing salad dressing. Hollandaise, um, butter chicken, which is kind of like a curry. Uh, chicken fried rice, just so many amazing favorites. Let me show you these as well. So these are, this is my dessert bin. It's running a little low. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth but the citrus lime cheesecake is to die for. Carrot cake is amazing. I make these into muffins for the boys and then they feel like they're having a cupcake for breakfast. They love it. Um, the chocolate fudge, which I mentioned earlier, this one you can make as hot fudge for whatever, everything, right? But then you could also chill it and then beat it with your mixer and you could turn it into an icing or like a frosting for your cupcakes. These are amazing, chocolatey temptation cupcakes. They're so good. Banana bread, just tons of amazing options and all gluten-free. And if you don't have to eat gluten-free, you would never notice that these are gluten-free because Epicure has nailed the texture on things, okay? But also don't forget guys, I'll have to show you. We have jarred seasonings as well. So like this one is summer berry. We put this in our yogurt. We put this in our pancake batter. I put this in vanilla frosting to make a berry flavored frosting. Just so versatile and so easy to use. And then again, it's low sugar. So you're not gonna feel guilty for giving your kids summer berry sprinkles on top of their yogurt in the morning because it is low sugar. Okay, I'm trying to think what else I should show you here really quick. Probably made you seasick with my video. But I'm just gonna pop this puff pastry on top of here. I already have one kind of thawed out and I have a round pan and a square puff pastry. So it's gonna look kind of goofy, but I'm just gonna lay it right on top, just like that. Let me open my oven. Okay, and then I just put it in there. Let me use my hot pad here. Okay, so that's gonna bake, oh, uh, what does the puff pastry say? I usually just follow 15 minutes and I'm just gonna watch it to make sure that it's kind of a golden brown and that the edges are still kind of bubbly for that filling to be fully cooked. So, okay, as you move forward, cause I know I just spewed out a lot of information at you, a lot of different options. Here's what I want you to look at. Look at the cookware. What makes the most sense for you, whether it's the multi-purpose steamer, so you can do lasagna in 15 minutes, or brownies, or fajitas in six minutes. Um, look at that, and also look at our sheet pan liner, or a nonstick wok, or our multi-purpose pot, which is amazing. But look at, see what kind of cookware makes the most sense for your family to help you save time and energy in the kitchen. But then also check out our food options. So. Think of some things that you eat regularly that you might be able to replace some of these items, okay? But then also look at our five packs. We have amazing themed five packs, whether that's sheet pan or the wok dinners, um, or like there's a crock pot bundle where it's a five pack of five different crock pot meals. This is an amazing way to be able to, um, to be able to try a different flavor of, or different things for the flavors like a sample pack. Um, and see what you like and see what you wanna order more of, okay? Um, there's also an amazing 15 dinner pack if you wanna do a little bit more, or you can buy things individually and mix and match. Just definitely look at, first of all, what are you gonna eat regularly, like our mac and cheese and our taco seasoning, and then what can you do to branch yourself out a little bit, um, whether that's our general tau seasoning or bruschetta, just all these amazing different options so that you're not getting bored in the kitchen and you're having fun again feeding your family. So, okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have an amazing evening. I'm going to, obviously, um, I'll have pictures of my pot pie that I'll post as well. And if you have any questions, comment on this video because I'll definitely be watching that so that I can connect with you. But most of all, thank you so much for your time and for being here. And I hope this is a blessing to you and your family. It has changed 
the way I cook and it has changed my life in regards to my health and my income and just who I am as a person and I cannot wait to share it with you. I hope that it blesses you too. Okay, have a good night.